which is part of the World Trotting Derby card on Saturday. Don't forget the racing schedule calls for another uh, 6.30 post time tomorrow night. We're dark on Wednesday, and then we come back Thursday, Friday, Saturday at 12 noon each day. Saturday's card highlighted by the half-million-dollar World Trotting Derby, and the supporting undercard will include the $50,000 Shawnee for two-year-old trotting fillies. This is the first half of the Daily Double. It's win, play, show, and exact a wagering on the first race. No scratches, no driver changes. A reminder, number six, where's the trotting hobbles tonight? That's a change of equipment. Let's meet the starters. Number one, Sugar Donut is owned by Robert Silberberg of Farmington Hills, Michigan, by Fowlerville, Michigan native Jim Eaton. Jim is the trainer, and Green Bay, Wisconsin's Dave McGee is the driver. Number two is Hoosier Peekaboo, owned by Carolyn Wiley of Glenwood and Mike Perrin of Beecher, Illinois, trained by Irvin Miller, his brother Andy Miller, in the bike. Number three, Emma Peel, is owned by Dick Baylogs, Blackacre Racing Incorporated out of St. Charles, Illinois, trained by John Bootenshane, the driver, Troy Ohio's Tony Morgan. Number four, Anita Wind, is owned by Paul and Sue Phillips of Charleston, trained and driven by their former employee, Rick Schrock. Number five is Maple Grove Val, owned by Joseph Mullins of Solana Beach, California, by Thomas Mullins of Wabatosa, Wisconsin, trained by Joseph Mullins. Homer Hochstetler is the driver. Number six is M.A. Penny, owned by Tim Tietrich's Tietrich Racing Stable of Crete. His father, Tom Tietrich, is the trainer. And Jeff, Illinois native Tim Tietrich, is in the race bike. And number seven, Kind of Smokey, owned by Paul and Charlotte Trinkle, who are here to watch their filly this evening out of Farmer City, Illinois. Ray Hanna from up at Aldemont Trains, and Ohio native Dale Heitman is in the race bike. And that's the field for the first race. The track condition is fast. Folks, we're glad you could join us. We're about to make history tonight. Six minutes till post for the first race ever under the lights in 71 years of harness racing at the DeCoin State Fair. And now the date, August 25, 2003, another milestone in the history of harness racing here at DeCoin, the first race ever under the lights. I bet some of you veteran race fans who used to come here for the Hambletonian remember when the 1965 Hambletonian wrapped up at 7.45 p.m. in the dark. So we have had night racing here before, so to speak, but not officially and never under the lights. They are at the post, folks. The gate's rolling. We're glad you could join us for this history-making occasion for Illinois Harness Racing. Here they come for the first half of the Daily Double and elimination of the Shawnee. The top five come back for Saturday's $50,000 final. Emma Peel is off stride. The rest are off and trotting. M.A. Penny goes out for the lead, and Maple Grove Val is right there with her sugar donut. Comes away trotting in third as that field moves into the first turn. M.A. Penny gets the lead up on the outside, but now she's off stride, and that filly has had problems making breaks this summer, and she has made a break again midway on the first turn. Maple Grove Val leads it by two and a half lengths. Sugar Donut second a length and a half. Hoosier Peekaboo is third by three and a half lengths. Back to Anita Wind. Kind of Smoky is eight lengths off the lead against the rail in fifth. Long way back to M.A. Penny and Emma Peel is last. 29 and four for the opening quarter. Here comes Hoosier Peekaboo moving up on the outside to get the lead. Hoosier Peekaboo leads it by a length headed toward the half as Maple Grove Val is second by two lengths. Sugar Donut is against the rail third. Anita Wind is fourth. Kind of Smoky is fifth. She's six lengths off the lead. It's over 20 more lengths, however. Back to M.A. Penny and Emma Peel is last as they move by the half. Hoosier Peekaboo is now on top. The half was reached in a minute flat. Hoosier Peekaboo leads it by a length. Maple Grove Val second a length. Sugar Donut takes to the outside from third. Anita Wind will follow her cover. Then Kind of Smoky is fifth, racing five lengths off the lead. The rest have a lot of ground to make up. Hoosier Peekaboo, the leader by a length, midway on the far turn. And Sugar Donut is second a half length. Maple Grove Val is shuffled back to third, flanked by Anita Wind, who's fourth, and still three lengths off the lead. A gap of three more back to Kind of Smoky in fifth. And Hoosier Peekaboo still has the lead past the three quarters. They were there in 130 and 15th. That double digit odds here, folks. Hoosier Peekaboo is the leader by three lengths, turning for home. Back to Sugar Donut. And then Anita Wind out in the center of the track. And Maple Grove Val followed by Kind of Smoky. Inside the eighth pole, Hoosier Peekaboo by two and a half, three lengths clear of Anita Wind. And then Sugar Donut. It is Hoosier Peekaboo drawing clear by some six lengths. Anita Wind on the grandstand side, then Kind of Smoky and Sugar Donut. Hoosier Peekaboo has won the first race ever under the lights at DuCoin. Anita Wind was second. It is close for third, either kind of smoky or sugar donut for show. The time, 159 and three.
Hoosier Peekaboo. The unofficial winner will pick up her first lifetime victory if made the official winner. Still waiting for result of that photo for show. Hoosier Peekaboo goes off at odds of 14 to 1 to start things off with a bang. There's the result of the photo for show. The one sugar donut was third, and number seven, kind of smoky, was fourth. Let's talk to Andy Miller. Andy, our uh, reigning driving champion at the DuCoin State Fair. I know you've won a lot of major races, Andy, but the first race ever under the lights at DuCoin, that's got to be a special honor, too. Did I win that? <laughs> <laughs> and how? Yeah, it is. It's, uh, it's really nice. Um, I think it's a good deal because it's a little cooler tonight. It, it kind of beats some of those days we've had when it's about 98 degrees and 98% humidity here at DuCoin, that's for sure. As far as that goes, Andy, you've raced a lot of paramutual racetracks, as have most of the drivers here tonight. I know when there's a lighting system put in, whether it's race car drivers, thoroughbred jockeys, or standard bred drivers, the concern is always glare off the lights and this kind of thing. It's a little bit early to tell here tonight because the sun has not gone away yet. But just coming in here this evening and seeing the lights turned on around the place, did you just kind of stand back and say, whoa? Yeah, because it's, uh, it's something new for DuCoin, so uh, it's really neat, I think. Good way to start things off. It's always good to start the week off with a win, Andy. Congratulations. Thank you. Andy Miller in the record books, folks. He's won the first race under the lights.